Hello there, my name is Wookie Nara, and this is Lunch Lady. So, um, this is actually a one to four person horror game. Um, there's been a lot of those going around recently. Um, but this one very specifically is based on y you and your friends, if you have friends, are, um, oh, look at that. So, you and your friends basically are going to oh there we go um let's just start off with that uh our, it, it's exam time that's how it starts it's exam time and you and your friends are trying to steal the test answers um and so we have to find the 10 pages that can like that contain the the test answers without being caught by the lunch lady which i'm kind of amused by that because it's just like I, I can only ever remember really semi-pleasant lunch ladies i don't think i've ever had any weird ones like i'm even thinking all the way back to elementary school i've generally had they're mostly pretty decent ladies because i mean they work really hard and um they keep they keep us fed <laughs> i mean it's it's as simple as that does middle school have exams i guess it does i i did um a different sort of middle school um i was in door locked find the hallway b key uh i was in a different middle school i did online i think i've brought it up before i did an online school um which was called OVA, or K-12, which is the Ohio Virtual Academy. Um, and am I going to, like, know what these sheets look like? But um, I did that for 7th, 8th, and ninth grade years. Um, and then after that, I went on to a... Um, a oh yeah okay a sort of um what was it called it was a why did i just forget what that kind of school is called that that sort of 10th ah! 11th and 12th i went to a, a school that you basically go you it was a career technical school um it has another name to it as well. Um, but I went there, and, like, 10th grade, you explore your options um, for what you want to do. And then 11th and 12th grade, you actually go into a program and do what you want to do. Um, a lot of people, depending on what program you go into, you come out of it with um, a, like, certificate. You'll come out with, like, a certificate or a license or you know things like that like we had a welding program and whatnot that if you went and you did the welding program you'd come out of it with your welding license or you'd come out of it with your culinary license um we had plenty of things like that um there were loads of students at that school because it was like a whole bunch of schools in the area uh put together like it was students from a high school would like choose okay i want to go here and then they'd go there for their 10th 11th and 12th grade years and pick out what program they wanted to and if you remember i was in digital video production um which led me to my uh i hear someone is there a way to hide Or am I just kind of screwed? Is there a radio? Is that a radio? Wait a minute. I'm gonna check something. Okay, yeah, no, it's just push to talk and whatnot. So it she shouldn't be able to hear me um, while I'm talking. But um Yeah, I went to that. I had a I had a decent high school experience. I liked my high school experience. Um however did not like 7th, 8th, and ninth grade. Because, like I said, I was doing that, that homeschool. 
Um, and I, I just didn't... I wasn't socializing very much. Um, the only ways that I really socialized was... I was in Boy Scouts at the time, so... I socialized when I went to Boy Scout meetings, and that was pretty much it. So, I basically... <laughs> I said... We, it was before my 10th grade year... Um, and my dad and stepmom sat me down and they were like, okay, we've got a couple of options for you. Um, you can either stay doing what you're doing. And I very quickly was like, no, um, you can do that. You can go to, we can throw you in public school. Um, and you can do that. Or you can do uh, this other thing. And it brought up the career technical school. And I'm like, we had my options for, I'll be honest, not that long. Because <laughs> I, I just very much knew I wanted out of um, homeschooling. Homeschooling just wasn't for me. The funny thing is, is I'm very much introverted. But just that... That experience just was not for me. I, I could not stand the whole um, being. Um, I people say like the oh you're homeschooled you basically get to do whatever you want no because there was still very much uh, rigorous scheduling for homeschool. There was. Um, Basically, you'd, you'd get online, depending on, you know, it, the school would send you a computer, um, and not a very nice one, I'll give you, and they send you, like, the books and whatnot for that year, and um, some other stuff, like, uh, like, you'd get, I got sent, like, science lab equipment, sort of stuff like that, um, for any science experiments we'd be doing, and other random things, um, because it was all of my siblings at one point were in it. We were all homeschooled at one point. Um, and I, I just out of all of them did not, I just didn't do well in it. Um, Cause I want to say one of my younger brothers, he did fairly well at it. Cause it was very much, yes, it was a lot of go at your own pace. Um, but it was also, you know, Ooh, hi lady. Why is she making piggy noises? But it was just, it just wasn't for me. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to any parents unless like, you've already got your kid and like a whole bunch of different programs where they can be social and whatnot. Um, just human beings, we're social creatures, you, you know, you lose out on that and you, you actually do start to like deteriorate, uh, mentally, physically, um, and I just kind of, if I wasn't doing school or if I wasn't at Boy Scouts, I'd just kind of shut down. I want to say my oldest sibling actually did graduate for, via um, homeschooling. I'd have to ask them. But um, they basically... they. Okay, so there's nothing you can hide in. You just got to go I want to assume my like crouching and whatnot is is doing me some bit of good but I'm also just kind of praying that it's doing me some bit of good But no, basically you'd like you'd log on. I was I was explaining how it worked. The way I did it was, you know, you'd log on to school, 
and um, depending on if you actually had a meeting, because you would, you'd have you'd have meetings um, where you would you know go into. This was before Zoom. They had some other thing. It wasn't Skype, um, but it was you know they had their own little meeting thing where you'd go in. And you'd sit for however long and listen to the teacher talking and whatnot. And then um, you'd... I love how at no point yet have I entered the lunchroom. Why is the lunch lady chasing after me? Shouldn't it be like a janitor? Creepy janitor. But, um... You'd go in, she'd talk, uh, they'd talk, and they'd do their presentations. It was mostly you'd, like, you'd kind of go, okay, I'm going to do math and science on Monday and, like, history or whatever on Tuesday. You, you'd do that. You'd break down your subjects per day because um, it was a very much a, you complete it in... Um, you could actually like straight up just like complete a whole bunch of your crap all at once. I I only know this because one of my younger brothers did it at one point. He like did all of his math like like just didn't do anything, didn't do all of his like did any of his math like all year, and then at just at one point did it towards the end of the year. And still, like, managed to pass with, like, a C. God, that's something. If I have kids, I'll, I'll never harp on them too bad about that. I would, I would be like, yeah, A's and B's are, are fine. They're, they're great. And they're, you know, um, I mean, they're to be commended. Not commended. Um, to be sort of praised, but. I got through college and whatnot. I, I was, I mean, I did at one point get like put on, um, like an academic warning. <laughs> I do have to say, I did, I did do that. Cause it was just, I wasn't, um, I was living at home, not where I currently live, but, um, my family was still living in the, the town in which I went to college at. So I could, you know, I could go, right. Basically most colleges have the rule of if you are a freshman, you have to spend your first year on campus. You have to live there in the dorms and whatnot. In my opinion, I feel like it's just another way they can squeeze a little bit more money out of you. Um, I may be wrong, but who knows? But I I didn't have to do that because I already lived in town. Um, and then we moved, and I decided to go back to college, so I had to stay in the dorms. Um, which oh my god, that was an experience. <sighs> Living in a dorm room is an experience. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you, I didn't hate it, but I didn't, I wasn't in love with it, trust me. I was like, okay, this, this is happening. certainly hope that because it didn't tell me like how to hide from her halfway there. They do, however, seem very scattered. It's 
So we've got what? We've got three hallways at least on this first floor. Where the hell did she go? Oh, she went that way. Okay. Um, and then. Somewhere there's like a. There's gonna be a stairway key, and then maybe there's another three hallways upstairs? Or downstairs? I don't know. Because it did look like there there is an upstairs and a downstairs. Um, wait. Okay, no, I have not been... She's just opening every door and making me think I've been in there. I need to find my way back out to the lobby. Oh, yeah, no, it, I literally got on that ramp, ramp, uh, rampage about, um, not rampage, like, discussion about what I did for, for school because um, for middle school and my first year of high school because I went to when we had um, when there were quizzes like when there were tests to be had um, like there there's there are Ohio standardized tests and whatnot that you have to take I don't know how many other states do that I would assume most of them if not all of them have those as well oh there's the lunchroom um but we have those we, what, what we did is we went to basically you'd, you'd get an email that was like okay here's where your student is going and um, what date and time and then you'd go and you'd take your your standardized test you basically you'd go to a ooh. hi lady go away lady um you'd go to a hotel <laughs> they did it at hotels i mean it makes sense um because a lot of hotels have those like conference center type things they'll have um what is this it's like a science lab um but they'll have those, you know, those big old conference rooms, or they'd have smaller conference rooms. I mean, that's what the one we did. They, they, they basically like they broke you up into grades and whatnot, and was like, here you go, here's, you go here, and then it was like a, a day or two, you'd you'd go and you'd take your tests, because um, there was a, you know, there's a couple one, a couple of them that you did each year. It was so annoying. can't come in here principal's office key Ooh, we gotta find the principal's office key oh i got oh collect five keys of any kind okay so it's not just oh you know what that makes sense that makes sense okay since this is supposed to be like a team game um it would be one of those things of you try and communicate with your buddies hey i got uh the C hallway key so we can we can go in there we got this yeah no this would be a way easier with um four people like the, honestly this would be i feel like this would be simple with four people <laughs> you are ugly. She got me. Never mind. I was smack talking. I got whacked with a pant. What? I forgot that. I can use health kits. This isn't. Li this isn't like a single player horror game. Yeah. 
Because it's one of those things, you, you single-player horror game, you get get, and you get got, you, basically, you got got, that's, that's what happens. Don't tell me she's faster than me. I force her back to the lunchroom. Lady, go away. Be able to hide somewhere, Jesus. Now, oh, I reached player level two. Bonk. <laughs> oh, I died. Okay. I don't like the noises she made. It's so weird. We'll, do, we'll give it one more try, um, and then I'll I'll, tr I'll see if I can get, like, maybe Ben and someone else to try and play this with me. Because um, I feel like if you have other people, it's going to be way easier to do. Let's try and find some of the rooms that they were talking about. Because there was the principal's office... I feel like principal's office, come on, that's gonna be... That's gonna be close, you know? That's gotta be close to the, the lobby, right? Because it's not just, you know, only kids go there, so... Lots of people go to the principal's office. I mean, parents, teachers. It's got to be a se like semi-central located thing. <laughs> if you're bad enough police officers. <laughs> you know what's a weird thing? I just I had I had a thought about that. I just had a thought about that. Um. Police officers in school. Write down in the comments below um, if this was a thing for you. So I go to high school, and there is an officer at the school. Um, kind of makes sense because there's a hell of a lot of us. Um, so having an officer there, not a bad idea. Um, and... Oh my god, except I hated it because the, the, they, they switched them up, um, every once in a while, who the, the officer was, and the officer I had one year looked exactly like the T-1000 from Terminator 2, like, exactly like him, and, um, but, the, is, is that, like, a thing, is that, like, everywhere sort of thing because I know I didn't have you know we didn't have a police officer in elementary school we didn't have one at the the like elementary school I went to because I was I was public school elementary um surprising thing is actually I got drug into homeschool because all my other siblings were doing homeschool I didn't want to do homeschool I liked what I was doing with public school. But, um... But... Is that is that just not a... Is, is that a thing everywhere? Is it not? I mean, I feel like it's probably become more of a thing. Would be my guess. Is having officers around. Public schools. Or not just public, but, you know, schools. Um, because like I said, I, I didn't have one in elementary school. The only officer that we'd have is, um... When we did DARE, the, you know, the, the DARE program, the, the wonderful DARE program, a horrifying program.
See, it was it was it was only horrifying in the. It was only horrifying in the like when they did the days of like, here's the um. This is what smoking does to your lungs and whatnot, or here's like, here's the dead body of someone that overdosed. <laughs> Those sorts of days. But, I mean, otherwise it was just, it happened. I feel like it happened for most people. I mean, the D.A.R.E. program was, like, around for years, and I think it still is. Why does this school have, like... This is a middle school. I chose out, like, the first level or whatever, which is a middle school. Why does this one have, um, freaking vending machines? You know what, I can't say that. Um, I did have to go to my home high school a couple times. Um, more or less, it was just because it was like, you had to go for like pep rallies and whatnot or other things like that. Um, even though, in my opinion, I didn't really belong to my home school for um for high school because i never went there i never went there so like i didn't play sports or anything for there i didn't do anything like that so i'm like what what's the point in me going there um and i technically you'd get picked up in the morning from there to go to the vocational school that's the word I was looking for uh, the vocational school um, and I just <laughs> I didn't belong there but it was just weird school was an interesting experience But, oh, no, no, I was talking the vending machines. I think... I want to say there was a vending machine. I, I want to say there was a vending machine or two at the high school. Not the school I went to. There was a, um... Very specifically, there was a... Um, you had the cafeteria. You know, you had the normal cafeteria. And then you had a, um... A little it was kind of like a a canteen sort of thing I don't know was, you'd go and with real money you'd buy um, other sorts of snacks like always the weirdest crap um, but you'd go there and you'd buy stuff from them um, and then we also, we had a restaurant actually in our, um, our school because there was a culinary program. So you had the, the culinary seniors ran the kitchen, they ran the, the restaurant as like a part of their final year. And they would technically as a senior, you were allowed to go to the restaurant during your lunch if you wanted to. That was one of those things like, I can't go there during my lunch. I don't have that much time. I've got like 35 minutes or some crap like that. Come on, lady. Oh, she's throwing knives now. Dang. Okay. That was interesting. Okay. <laughs> so that was lunch lady. Um, I'm going to, I'll try and get like Ben or someone else um, to play this with me. Maybe I could get... Ben and Sean, or maybe Ben and Mike, uh, to play this with me, because I completely forgot that this was a one to four player, you know, game. Um, and then I'll, I'll I'll try and complete it on my own as well, because there is you know levels to it. Um, let's see. I'll go back. There's there there appears to be you know. 
A bunch of did I just realized that those banners just said sports week. Sports week. Um yeah, there appears to be, you know, nightmare high oh yeah, that sounds fun. Um and then there's characters, which I don't understand. But um I'll I'll try and get a couple people to do this with me. And we'll see how much easier it is. But I am all out of time for this one. Um, if you like the video, please uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 300 subscribers by the end of August and then 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So go ahead and share as well. Um, force people to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and also hit that like button. But I am all out of time for this one. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you.